there's only a few days left for you to join my breakthrough six week online course, The Martial Meditation Method. For the last 15 years, I've been personally studying meditation and for the last 10 years, I've been teaching guys in my live courses uh, a system of meditation that allows you to dissolve your approach anxiety, your social anxiety, to get out of your head, into the present moment, into your body. And I'm really excited to finally announce that this is available to the general public, not just the guys that come on my very expensive live uh, workshops. So if you want to find out all about the martial meditation method and join me and a select group of men on this six week journey of self-discovery, uh, relaxation, balance and inner peace, click the link below or in the description and I'll see you on the first day of the course. Do you want to be the greatest lover that the woman that you've been with has ever experienced in all her life? Of course you do. In this video, I'm going to be expanding on the applications of meditation in terms of sex and sexuality. Now, most men, when they're thinking about improving themselves as a lover, which is, it's really awesome that guys are doing that at all. In previous generations, lots of men and lots of men around the world don't give a shit about whether they're a great lover or not. Uh, they just want to get their rocks off. But for you, because I know that you're a highly uh, elevated and evolved man because you're doing this course, obviously you want to extend your own personal internal practice and be able to share that with your lovers to become a much more intuitive and skilled lover. And I think most men think that when they're looking at improving themselves in terms of their sexual skills, that this is all about techniques, right? So this is all about understanding uh, special ways to massage the G-spot or twiddle the, the, uh, the clitoris. There's this system called One Touch, which is like some strange new uh, pseudo-scientific sexual system where you have to like rub the clitoris at this certain point just past one o'clock, 500 times this way and 300 times this way, and it's supposed to be some special technique. I mean, perhaps it, perhaps it is, but I think these kinds of technical understandings miss the point of what it means to be a great lover. Now, I'm not saying that there are not technical aspects to being awesome in bed. There absolutely are. Uh, you need to have a fundamental understanding of female anatomy, uh, of generally where the clitoris is and how to, how to apply pressure to it, of things such as G-spot massage of erogenous zones, uh, of angles in, when you're having sex, uh, positions, dirty talk, all, all these things that are technical in their nature. Uh, and this is not the subject of this video. That's something for a whole other product, which I'll certainly be releasing in the future, something I've been working on for a long time, actually. Um, but more important than having perfect sexual technique is understanding how to use your meditation, your awareness, your presence in the bedroom or in the alleyway or wherever, wherever it is that you uh, choose to be with your lovers. Because a man can be technically amazingly proficient, he can know all the right moves, but the problem is, firstly, is that women are not robots. They're not all identical physio physiologically, they don't all respond to the same stimulus, and the same woman doesn't respond to the same stimulus depending on her mood, depending, she'll, she'll change depending on her mood, depending on where she is in her menstrual cycle, depending on how aroused she is, uh, depending on the dynamic that she has with any given man. Right, so even if you know some special techniques, that's not gonna work if you try to apply it identically to every single woman. And if you've got a special move that you know works all the time with all the ladies, then I'm here to burst your bubble. The truth is that most of the women you've been with have been faking it. Because if you're doing the same thing to every girl and they're all making the right noises, it doesn't mean you're awesome. It means that she perceives that you've got a sexual ego. She perceives that you've got a lot of pride around your ability and your skills and you're doing your thing. And she's like, okay, he's, he thinks he knows exactly what he's doing, but he doesn't know my body. He doesn't know my moods, my desires. And therefore I don't want to upset his ego. And so I'll pretend that I like it. Right? That can be kind of a shocking thing for many men to realize. But if you want to be a great lover, you need to put aside your ego. You need to put aside your pride and you need to learn 
to use the presence and awareness that you've been learning throughout this course and then to apply it with a partner. So, what that means is, firstly, set aside the idea that you need to be technically perfect and certainly that you need to have a, a bank of skills that you've learnt or that you have you know, your toolkit and that that's what you're going to apply to every woman. Understand that the truth about what makes a man a spectacular lover is his ability to be present, responsive and in the moment with his lover. Right? Because great sex happens moment by moment. It doesn't happen when you're planning. And that's something that I know I used to be guilty of and many men are guilty of is that when they get in the bedroom, they have a set routine of things that they do or that they want to go through, right? So I'm going to go down on the girl for a few minutes and then I'm going to, you know, then I'm going to do missionary and then I'm going to get a blowjob, then I'm going to flip her over or, you know, they're going through a sequence and it's all moving towards them coming and ejaculating at the end, right? So what that means is if you're planning, if you're trying to move through a sequence, then where are you? Are you in the present moment? Of course not. You're in your head, you're thinking about the future, you're projecting towards the future, and as a result, the woman perceives and feels that you're not with her. Women tend to be a lot more emotional and uh, kind of dispersed in their sexuality. Men are often very centric on their cocks, right? So we're focused in on our penises and on ejaculating. Uh, for a woman to have great sex, it's not so much about even if she does have an orgasm. Of course, that's nice if she has one or more. But a woman is going to perceive a really amazing sexual experience to be something that is full body, that is immersive, that is like a trance, right? Which is where she gets out of her own head, gets into her body, gets into an altered state of consciousness, right? And that's, that's something that, that great sex is. Great sex is, is a trance that you're sharing together. Right? It's, 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 it's an abnormal state of consciousness. It's where both of you lose sense of time, uh, lose actually sense of your own personal ego and identity. Right? The really amazing sex is when two people blend, right? where the division between where you start and where she starts blurs, right? where you feel almost like you're one organism or you're, you know, you're, you're, this is the, the male and female essence entangling and going through this amazing kind of cosmic dance. That's what awesome sex is. A woman is going to walk away from a sexual experience with a guy that's like technically got her off, you know, he did the right things and he found where, what, what buttons to push on her and made her come. She's going to feel satisfied by that, but only as, but only as satisfied as she would with a vibrator, really, uh, as opposed to a man that's there fully with her, engaging with her in real time present with it, with his eye contact, with his touch, responsive, communicating, even if she didn't have an orgasm, coming out of that sexual experience, she feels electric, alive, she feels sexy, she feels like a goddess, right? And that's the kind of experience that girls want to come back to over and over again. 